In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, create a peer review assignment and how to assign this to students so that they can conduct the peer reviews. Uh, you need to go to your modules and add an assignment uh, within a module. Uh, click on this plus button for the module and then choose new assignment. Give it a name. Let's call this one peer review assignment and then you add this item and then click on this assignment. It is not yet published so make sure that you do that once you have set it up. So now you click on edit and then you give some instructions and adjust the points and do the, all the other um, configurations as you usually do for the other assignments and make sure that it is uh, in the proper category display as points and for submission type let's choose online and let's uh, request you to do file uploads and then require peer evaluation peer reviews uh, check here uh, for peer reviews um, check here and you have two options one of them is a manually assign peer reviews that means you are need to assign specific students to specific other students or you can do this automatically if you do automatically it will ask you how many reviewer um, per user do you want to assign let's say I want everyone to review another student's paper or you can do um, several papers by the way and the assign review date you can set a date and once that date is set up it will automatically assign the review um, to the students if you do not set a date it will ask you to assign at the due date say must come after due date if blank uses due date so I leave it as blank and I'm going to set a due date here um, today and I'm going to set a time to be um, 9.55 a.m. and then I click on done and, uh, and then I'm going to save this assignment save and publish it I can also add a rubric so that people can use rubrics to um, review each other's work as you can see I have added a rubric for this assignment Next, we will see how students submit to this assignment and how you assign peer reviews to them. Okay, now uh, let's uh, submit a paper for Mary Jones. Okay, this is uh, submitted. Uh, like any other assignment so the time hasn't come for uh, peer review so you were seeing that. similarly another student Ron Walker submit his assignment and now we should be ready to assign the peer reviews now we're back to the teacher view as you can see in addition to speed creator you also have peer reviews so you need to click on peer reviews here and uh, then we have set it up to assign one reviewer per, per user but you need to click on this assign peer reviews button here for the reviews to be assigned because we didn't set a, a date and time for the um, assigning of peer reviews so we'll have to do this by clicking on this button so now once I click on this button you see something changed uh, Mary Jones has been assigned to review Ron Walker and Ron Walker has been assigned to review Mary Jones papers so that means it has been uh, assigned so they can start to review each other's work now you will see an exclamation mark here that means um, the peer review hasn't been completed so now let's go back to one of the students view to see how it is possible to do this peer review when students have been assigned their peer reviews, they will see a uh, item under to-do list or they can just go to modules and go to that assignment and there you will see there's an exclamation mark here for the assigned peer review so the student can just click on the name of the person that has been assigned to her or him and then click on the view feedback 
now it is possible to mark on this paper uh, using all the tools uh, for annotation as you could do as, as a teacher and then the student can also use the rubric and keep grades and comments as needed um, but of course this grade usually is not final you need to review it and see whether some adjustments can be made so let's uh, save this comment here so there's a few there is a grade being assigned for the rubric by a fellow student and some comment can be made here too and the student can uh, uh, annotate on the document and that's it and that's how uh, the review each other's work once it is done you know click on save and their comments and their rubric the grades will be saved now we are back to the teacher's view and let's click on this assignment again and as a teacher you will be able to go back to peer reviews to see what uh, Mary Jones, Jones is doing to Ron Walker's work so you can click on that you can view the feedback here and you will be able to see that uh, Mary Jones commented, commented on Ron Walker's work and you should also be able to see the rubric that uh, Mary Jones give to uh, Ron Walker but as I said earlier you should be able to um, assign a grade yourself and to override what uh, Mary Jones has, has done earlier for instance right now it is uh, 90 out of 100 if you choose uh, 92 you should be able to do that um, or you can just go to speed grader later on after you have seen all their work to uh, give your own grades using your using the same rubric okay so you can go here and then go to speed grader and you should be able to view the rubric and you know assign the grades here and give comments as needed and you should also be able to uh, give additional comments and annotate on the work um, even further uh, beyond what uh, Ron Walker or Mary June has done uh, in the peer review process that's it that's how um, peer review works it's a very useful tool and I encourage you to use it uh, if you have any questions please feel free to let me know thank you so much